This short recording is to provide a brief overview to the one hour and 20 minute online webinar, BC Energy Step Code, Part 3 Energy Design Report, with a focus on users. The full webinar was originally delivered in July 2020. These recordings are being completed in August, and we'll have another live version of the same presentation for users on September 23, 2020. A sister presentation for local governments will also be delivered on August 27th, and details for any upcoming events can be found at the Energy Step Code website. The recorded webinar has been broken up into the five sections noted on your screen, with times indicated for each section. They've been separated so that individuals can focus on parts of interest rather than the full one hour and 20 minutes if desired. So the first section, Introduction and Background, just provides a simple overview to the step code with a focus on areas that appear in the report. So examples of these areas include step code revisions, the historical timeline of them, major occupancies, relevant portions of the City of Vancouver Energy Modeling Guidelines version 2, etc. And we should note that the presentation does assume a basic level of fluency with the step code and energy modeling. Section 2 is an overview of the Part 3 report itself. So this lays out the main features and familiarizes you with the overall content. For example, we'll go into some detail on this image that you see on your screen, which lays out the seven main sections of the report and groups them based on what uh, information is asked in each section. The next section goes into more detail in each of the seven sections. So we'll discuss every individual entry and provide some tips, such as the examples shown on your screen. Uh, so this one we've got on your screen is for section A. It's got some supporting information for the various entries. And as a whole, this section is one that we would suggest listening to for anyone who's new to the report, because we will go through everything in a lot of detail in this section. The next section is where we go through three examples and we complete them in the report itself on the screen. So the first example is for a multi-unit residential building or MERB, and this one will be achieving step four. And then the second example takes the same MERB, but just switches it to step one. And we look at what are the differences in the report if you're going uh, between say a step one occupancy and a step four uh, building. And then the third example is for a mixed use building, and this contains both step code and non-step code occupancies. Section 5 wraps up by summarizing procedural information and providing key takeaways and additional resources. So we hope you'll join us for the sections that are of interest to you.